on guys uh hate week for the fuskies really shouldn't be making this video i feel like shit been sick all uh week so just wanted to get my video out there real fast uh fuskies what do i gotta say about you not much beating you eight straight times in a row i think four times in a row with 17 uh plus points is the difference so beating you four straight times by 17 points or more um you got you got a big win over Stanford. Yeah, congratulations. This doesn't mean your program's relevant again. Uh, Jesse Palmer uh, said that Kevin Price or Prince or whatever the hell your quarterback's name is said he's the second best quarterback in the Pac-12. That's bull fucking shit. There's no way that that dude is better than Marcus Mariota. Yeah, Marcus is a redshirt freshman, but this guy is nowhere near the capabilities of Marcus. Marcus is going to outshine him at Austin Stadium. It's going to be freaking insane. Y'all remember the pick, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, the pick, right? Kenny Wheaton's going to score. This time it'll be Avery Patterson, Ifo Ekpre Olamu, or um, any one of our better corners out there that's going to score. And I predict at least a pick six in this ballgame for us. At least one, maybe three or four sacks. Deion Jordan's going to tear um, Prince up. He is just going to manhandle that quarterback of yours. Um... You guys have been begging for relevancy ever since the 90s ended, ever since your Rolls Bowl runs ended. Uh, so this is your chance. It's not going to happen with the Ducks. Uh, maybe when you go face the Beavers, you can gain a little bit of relevancy when you beat a ranked team. And Okay, yeah, you beat Stanford. Like I said, that's so what? I mean, Oregon's going to trounce Stanford. Uh, Stanford got lucky to beat USC at home. Uh, so really, I don't consider any of those programs relevant. Um, Husky fans, you know what we do up there in Washington? We take uh, that little tiny stadium that you had to rebuild because you were so ashamed of it, and we made it our house. You remember that? This is our house chant last year. Yeah, only this time we're going to do it in our house, a real effing stadium, not that piece of shit that you had to tear down because it was so effing embarrassing uh, to the Pac-12. I think Larry Scott probably made you guys rebuild that. That's why you did it. That's probably the only reason you got a new stadium. Not because your program's back on the rise. No, Larry Scott has pride in the Pac-12 and said, you know, fuck Washington. You need to get a better stadium uh, and freaking do this uh, program and this, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Conference. There is a word. Yeah, fuck. Sick. Uh, conference. Some do justice here. Get a better stadium. And that's why you got it. So, Congratulations. You're going to get an ass whooping. Uh, score prediction. I'm going to go 56 to 13. Oregon wins this one. And maybe it's thir maybe it's 21 to 13 at halftime. And you have a little swimmer of hope. And Fusky fans are thinking, oh my god, we're going to do it again. Two upsets in a row. Fuck that. We're going to destroy you. We're going to crush you. You have no running game. You barely have a passing game. We have one of the best corners in the nation, Ifo like Preolamu. Um, Avery Patterson got a pick six last game. He's going to come out motivated. Troy Hill's balling right now. And we're DeAnthony's been slipping, so I expect him to have a bounce-back game against you guys. So, as always, go Ducks.